Finally, there is a new entry into Magic the Gathering, and this time it's War of the Spark. I am so excited to open up a booster box of War of the Spark. I have opened one, but that's about it for me. I opened up a pre-release kit and a booster box and called it done, and here we are. We're going to open up a box. I didn't pull amazing out of the one box that I actually opened off-camera. I didn't pull any God Eternals. I didn't pull the most amazing planeswalkers so i'm very excited to see what we are going to get out of this booster box and we're just gonna jump straight into it i'm hoping <laughs> exacto knife i'm hoping maybe to pull a liliana i have not got my bolas yet there's a lot that i'm eager to open in this set so we're just gonna jump straight into it i have opened a lot of packs on arena uh as you guys know so I, um, I'm definitely excited to see what I can actually pull out of, you know, paper magic, because my luck in paper magic is, has not been hot the last couple of sets. Oh yeah, that's good. I did pull a Teferi out of my pre-release kit, which was great. Alright, it's finally time to crack into this booster box. I've wanted to do this for a couple days now, but finally getting around to it. I'm gonna put the booster box to the side, maybe like, uh, there. I don't know, I don't want it to be in, in shot, so let's just jump straight into them. Alright, so jumping straight into the first pack, I'm just going to show maybe the first two or three packs of commons, um, and then we'll see, you know, how we're doing from there. That art, Callous Dismissal, that is one gorgeous artwork. This set has a lot of good art in it, honestly, like... The previous sets didn't have bad art, but we had a time in Magic where the artworks were very, very just untasteful. I really didn't like them. Alright, so the first Planeswalker is Samut, and the first actual card is Oath of Kaya, the newest member of the Gatewatch. I thought that they were doing away with the Gatewatch, but apparently they're not, and apparently the Gatewatch is just hanging out, you know. I, uh, I thought that they were, you know, kind of kind of phase away from the Gatewatch, but apparently not. Apparently not. We're never lucky enough. So I am curious to know, in this set, um, how many Planeswalkers each I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull. So I'm only opening a couple booster boxes. I'm not going crazy with War of the Spark. <clears throat> but the EV for War of the Spark right now is very good. Sahili, I needed one of those. A Parahelion 2, okay. Okay, you're you're cool, but you're not as cool as you could be. I love vehicles, and I just feel so underwhelmed by this. I feel like the 8 cost, especially with the Crew 4, is, is kind of getting up there, but I guess it could be worse, right? Yeah, I guess it could be worse off. Um, let's skip through these. I have a pile over here, but my pile management is not the best today. Let's see, some of this, oh, Guild Globe, I could go for that in foil. Oof, so pretty. Wanderer's Strike, I was hoping that we'd have more information on who the Wanderer really is, but we don't yet. Obnix, not very bad. Okay, an Awakening, not too, not too shabby. I'm not sure what I'm planning on playing in paper, honestly. Um, with War of the Spark, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of good Izzet cards, and I'm straying away from Izzet on Arena a little bit. I've been playing some Selesnya tokens. Um, I'm not one to build something in paper and play it online as well, so I'm definitely thinking of building something different in paper. Maybe Gruel. I'm not sure. Ooh, Dovin's Veto. Such a beautiful promo. A Kiora and a Finale of Devastation and a Foil Stinger. I'm not, not too shabby. Unfortunately, in my last box, I pulled one of every Finale, and those were... Those were the majority of my mythics, so I really hope that we don't pull too many finales in this box. I really would like to pull something a little bit different, but I'm not gonna be picky. I just, you know, would rather not pull so many finales. I, I, I feel like not all of them are the best. Some of them are definitely useful, but not... Oh, there was another card. Stuck to another card? I've never opened a pack and had two cards stuck together. The Giant Growth was stuck underneath the Bane Hound. Okay. Um, and I feel like the finales just are kind of lacking, honestly. A Huatli. 
Ugh, look at that saturation. That saturation looks off. And a Bolasa Citadel. And a Foil Ashiok. Nice. I mean, that's that's nice. Bolasa Citadel, it's a decent card. It is a promo, though. I'm, I'm hoping to get my hands on a promo, but... Wow, that is pretty. Honestly, this just... This card, I saw this during pre-release weekend, and it was a very solid card, so I think that I'm really happy to actually have this in foil. I'm actually really happy to have that. That's pretty nice. Is that... Okay. Yeah. I, um... I like it. It's not a bad card. It's just maybe not the best, but it's definitely good for an uncommon walker. I'm still not honestly sure how I feel about the uncommon planeswalkers. I am still very mixed on them, honestly. Let's see. Not even to the uncommons yet. Domri's Ambush, Rescuer Sphinx, Interplanner Beacon, and a Bolas Dragon God. I will take that, that's for sure. Finally, I have a Bolas. I mean, I only opened up one box and one pre-release pack. I wasn't I was not uh, shocked that I had not seen him yet, but oh baby, yeah. I'm so happy to see him. I have two in Arena, but... He is going in my Bolas collection. Now I just need to foil one of him. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be picky. Beggars can't be choosers, but that's, that's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice pull. Ooh, Bolas. Yeah, I, I have a good feeling about this box now. I have a very good feeling all of a sudden. That, that made me excited to see the rest because we're not even through a full row in the box yet. So I'll, I'll take it. A Raptor. Oh my gosh, the zombie cat. Bond of Revival, really decent card. And a Karn, okay. Two really great Planeswalkers back to back. That's not bad. I definitely want four Karn. I have one and now I have another, so now I have two. Um, really solid card, honestly. I, I feel like he's got just a lot of potential in general in multiple formats. He's a very good card. Ugin is all right as well. He's not the best. He's not what I expected him to be returning to Magic, but he's not bad. I definitely want more of him. I definitely want a playset of him. I feel like he could be utilized maybe elsewhere. Um, maybe not standard. Electromancer, Liliana's Triumph. Bond of Flourishing. This is a fantastic card. If you play green and standard, play this. I play this in Selesnia Tokens. It is so good. Too bad I don't play Selesnia Tokens in paper, because that would be a really pretty card to have in foil. Ooh, a Sarkin and a Foil Sergeant. Not the best foil, but it's definitely a pretty card. It's not the worst. And a Sarkin. So three Planeswalkers in a row that are really solid, actually. You know, these are Planeswalkers that I have not previously pulled that I'm happy about. I'm definitely hoping to collect one of each Planeswalker. Oh, that was loud. I really hope that I am able to collect one of each Planeswalker uh, through my box openings. I would like them. Even if they're not in foil, I would still really like them. Uh, one of each. All right, we've gone through the commons. We've gone through the commons of quite a few packs. We will start slowly skipping the commons. A Prison Realm, an Ugin's Conjuring, a Wild Crafter, not too shabby, and a Lich. I mean... <clears throat> it's not the worst card. It's a it's a lich. I mean, for Golgari, it's not bad. I don't plan on playing him in paper, though. At least at this moment. I mean, who knows if that will change or not. Um, ch 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 Gideon's Sacrifice. Poor Gideon. Like, we're killing off all the last male characters. Come on. Come on, don't do this. A Triumph, an Apparition, a Kaya, and an Aheb. Okay, we're slowly inching closer to getting the... To getting the gods. We're slowly inching closer and closer. I don't know how close we're actually going to get them. I really want one of each. They're so nice. The Ravnica novel. Oh, gosh. That went awful. That, that did not go as they planned, I'm sure. An Ambush, a Scorpion, Rally of Wings, and a Nyssa. Ooh, boy. Look at, look at Nyssa. This is honestly one of my favorite artworks of Nyssa. She looks good. Has anyone pulled this in foil? <clears throat> if you pulled this in foil, definitely send me a picture of it on Twitter or Discord. I want to see that in foil, honestly. That's one pretty card. Um, I'm, again, a, a card that I don't 
know necessarily if I'll play right off the bat, but definitely a card that I see a lot of potential in. A lot of these walkers that are rares, um, I see a lot of oh, I see a lot of potential in. Another somewhat in an ignite the beacon. Oh, no foil lands. I I'm sorry, but I really want the um I really want the lands. The panorama lands look pretty, and in foil they would look even prettier. Let's see. Uncommons, hello. Alright, Tyrant's Scorn, Eternal Taskmaster, a Kazmina, and a Widespread Brutality. Not too shabby. A very solid Rakdos card. It is, again, maybe not something that is well used in every format, but definitely something that I see potential in. Um, sh sh let's see what we- oh, Charmed Stray. This is like my ninth or tenth. This card is so adorable. I want at least ten in foil. I'm not joking. I want at least ten in foil. Firemind's Vessel. A Tamiyo. Ooh. That's dark. I haven't pulled you either. You look good. I mean, okay, so there's been a lot of- a lot of people uh, having different opinions on this artwork. I I really like it. I think it's pretty good. I I don't hate it, you know? I'm definitely loving a lot of the artwork in this set compared to maybe some of the other sets. Um, I don't... I feel like everything up from Dominaria was really good. I did like the Amonkhet block, but it definitely had its moments where it felt very lackluster. A Kazmina and another Awakening... Not too bad, but nothing that we absolutely need. I think that's uh, that's my placement at this point. Two in this box, two in my previous box, so not the worst pulls, but at least I have a playset. I usually try to go for a playset in a lot of things, but it doesn't usually work out the way that I want it to. Price of Betrayal. Now, this is a card that I have seen played very consistently lately, and it's such a good card. It is very solid. And a Teo and a Plain Wide Celebration. I actually pulled this as my um, my uh, date stamped card that was not the Planeswalker. It's really pretty in foil. It's not a card that I plan on using consistently in something, but it's a very it's a very nice art. You guys know I'm I'm a sucker for artwork. Artwork in me just if something has a pretty art, I will find a way to build around it. Someone had actually asked me in a stream the other night, um, I think it was up actually like last week, someone had said that I should build a Deccan standard and play it on Arena sheerly out of artworks that I think are nice. Now the problem is, is that I don't have a specific taste in artwork and I could look at something that's the worst card ever and say that is such a gorgeous artwork and play it and then I'd lose. So like it would be a fun thing to kind of put a lot of my favorite artwork cards together but I don't think I'd be able to consistently play something. Uh, Vraska and a Soul Diviner. Not, not a bad card, just could be better. I just feel like if it was, I'm not sure what could make it a lot better, but I definitely don't know if that deserves to be in a rare spot. But then again, I mean, it's, you get what you get, you know? No Escape is really solid. Really solid card. Cruel Celebrant, Gleaming Overseer, a Tybalt, <laughs> Tybalt, and an Advocist. I have pulled a lot of them in Arena. It's not my favorite card, and a foil of Johnny's Pride Mate. That makes me so sad because the last of Johnny's Pride Mate art was so pretty, and this one just looks so lacking in my opinion. But I have a foil one of it, and if I ever want to play cats, I could definitely put this in my EDH cat deck. Yes, of course I have an EDH cat deck. Who do you think I am? Crazy? Who do you think I am? Crazy? Of course I've got an EDH cat deck. Who doesn't? You don't? Of course you don't. This pack just did not, did not want to open for me. This one is giving me a problem. I try not to make a mess, but it doesn't always work that well. All right. Scorpion, Companion, an Arlen, and an Arcanist. All right. Next pack. Now I'm trying to speed through it. I we haven't pulled too, too many Mythics, so I'm very excited to see what the rest of the Mythics are going to be, or even Foils. Skydiver, a Neoform, an Aingraf, and another Lich. Okay, double, double Lich. I mean, okay, I'm not complaining, I just, that's a lot of Liches, don't you think? 
Do we need that many witches? I'm not exactly sure. Embrace limitless power on a flexible schedule. Okay, Bolas, sure. You, you, I never thought that Bolas had worried about people's schedules, you know? Apparently he does. Storm the Citadel, Challenger Troll, a Wild Crafter, and a Silent... Ah, sub the Submarine and a Turret Ogre. Yeah. I, um, uh, I think the Submarine is actually kind of interesting, honestly. It's kind of cool. So now I'm moving the rest of the packs out of the box. Because I think that... We're, we're, we're almost there. We've got about a row left. Just, just, just about. The Ravnica book again. Poor Ravnica book. That did awful. I, um, I haven't read any of it, but I was tempted to pick it up. Maybe I won't now. God Pharaoh statue. That's actually in one of the backgrounds in Arena, and you can destroy it, and I think it's hilarious. A Jaya, another Dread Horde. All right. We're seeing a lot of duplicate rares, and I actually noticed this in my first booster box, is I saw a lot of duplicate rares, and it's the same thing here. I'm seeing, again, a lot of duplicate rares. I I don't know if that's actually a problem that people are experiencing in War of the Spark. I should look more into it now, and I should start asking around now that the set's officially released and that there's there's more people that have it in their hands, but I'm curious. D-Spark, fantastic card, and a Soren, Sweet. Soren is actually looking really good there. I really like this artwork. It's a very painted, very almost whimsical artwork because it's so it looks so effortless, yet it's got so much fine detail. It's very fabulous artwork. In in my opinion, I mean I I, I know a lot of people don't like the artworks that look more painted like that, but honestly, I'm a I'm a sucker for the painted artwork. This is a great promo. Fantastic. A Tefiri, sweet, and a foil totally lost. <laughs> this this is really great. Tefiri, first of all. I don't play Tefiri in standard, but maybe I should now. Because I have Heroes of Dominaria, and now I have two of these, the Time Revelers. Totally lost. Best foil in the set. That is fantastic. It's Fibblethip and Bolos. It's fantastic. Really creepy, though. Really creepy. It's not a good card, but we can just appreciate the artwork. We can just appreciate it. It's fine. It's fine. A Bolos, Nissus Triumph, a Teo, and the Elder Spell. Another great card. Um, we're coming slowly to the close of this booster box. It has been a really decent booster box so far. I mean, it's definitely one of the more solid ones. It's definitely better than my last one. That's for sure. An Ashiok, non-foil, and a mobilized district. Not too shabby. Very disappointed. We haven't seen any foil yet, though. So sad. So sad. Wow, these packs are giving me a problem. Did they cut the price on the plastic on the packs or what? Because these are not even opening like they used to. A Nahiri. I actually got a Nahiri as my foil stamped promo. It is a really nice card. A Boar God. Pfft very very good card i plan on putting this in actually a couple of different builds i i think that this card has a lot of potential it is not the best card that i've ever seen but it's definitely got potential for the five costs that it has and it's a six six very solid mythic how many mythics is that now we've gotten a quite a quite a couple mythics at this point an Ashiok, and a Roll Reversal. Not the best. Honestly, like, the double-colored cards in this set are not as great as they could be. I just, I feel at least. I feel like they kind of are lacking a little bit. At least in my opinion, though. Um, there we go. Rowl's Outburst, Invade the City, a Narset. Ooh, Narset, you're looking good. Look at this pile management. It's absolutely awful and an apex hybrid so two mythics in a row not not too bad i'm not complaining how many mythics is that now um or not two mythics in a row almost two mythics in a row how many mythics is that now five maybe six i'm not exactly sure and let's finish it off we've only got a couple of packs left this box has been very solid honestly leyline prowler a bolt bend a sahili and a tank not the best, but not the worst. One, two, three, four, five, six packs left. Six whole hearty packs left. What are we gonna pull? I could use a Gideon Blackblade. I could definitely use one of those. And a Liliana. I have not pulled either of those. I 
could definitely use one or two or maybe six. I don't think we're going to pull six of them, but you know, that's as many packs as we have left. A Leyline Prowler, an Apparition, a Tybalt, and a Dreadhorde Butcher, and a Foil Challenger Troll. Um, Challenger Troll is... Uh, a lot of people were saying it's actually a really good card. It's... I mean, it's pretty... It's pretty average, in my opinion. Also, Dreadhorde Butcher, not too bad. I mean, honestly, the double colored though. They're, the multicolored cards are kind of lacking this time around. I feel like definitely the past... Um, Ravnica sets and whatnot have had a lot of great, um, you know, double-colored, multicolored cards, mainly because they were focused around, uh, the sets were focused around them, but I feel like they just kind of forgot about them in this set. And a Domri, very nice, and a Foil, Foil Submarine Boy. Ooh, that is a great pack, honestly. Ooh, Vehicles are something that I really, really enjoy in Magic at this point, so I'm really happy to pull that in foil. And a Domri, not too bad. That is probably the best foil that we are going to get, but I, I'll take it. You know, it's not a foil bowl loss, but I will take it. These packs absolutely hate me. Jeez, who cursed me with the packs? All right, D-Spark. I could use one of those in foil. An Ingrath's Rampage, a Davriel. It is so covered with his his shadow magic and a Time Wipe. Very nice. So this card is actually, be, uh, it's getting a promo version, which looks really good. Of course, it's got Teferi on it, though, so not too surprising, but at least I think it has Teferi. Unless I'm thinking of a different art, but I'm pretty sure that it's got Teferi since <sighs> we love Teferi, don't we? Ral's Outburst, Ugin's Conjurant, a Dovin, and a Solar Blaze. Not a bad card. Alright, last two packs. What are we going to pull out of Gideon and Tefiri? I would like a Gideon Black Blade. I know that it's not going to happen, but, you know, a girl can hope, right? Or a Lightning Bolt. I'll take a Lightning Bolt. What if there was just, like, one hidden Lightning Bolt in the set? That would be amazing. And I definitely should be the one to earn it. Whoever has the most lightning bolts gets it. It's probably not me, but, you know, I'm a fair contender. The Wanderer. I, I really want her in foil. She looks cool. And a single combat. This When this art was actually spoiled, I thought this was so funny. Not even a threat to the entire multiverse could persuade them to put aside their feud. I mean, seriously. And the last pack. Let's, uh, wrap it up with the last pack. Anything, anything, anything? Let's see. A Raptor, Rally of Wings, a Dovin, which looks really odd in color, and an Enter the God Eternals, and a Foil Green Rhino. That's not that great, but it could be worse. Enter the God Eternals, again, very solid card. Overall, guys, I think that our pulls were very solid this time around. I'm really... Really happy that I got a Bolas of Citadel and a Bolas. The Karn was very solid. And, of course, the highlight of the foils has to be... Has to be the vehicle. I mean, Ashiok's pretty cool, too. But that... That... That looks good. That is pretty solid. But overall, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a like. I appreciate you being here for this booster box opening of War of the Spark. I... I want to know what you guys pulled. Please let me know your best pull over all of the booster boxes that you have gotten in the comments down below. But I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys again really soon.